and welcome to the council ground of the Shatters Luton town with a capacity of about 36 just look at the size of that stand it's as small as my penis after a cold shower now let's have a look at our dressing room as you can see as nobody wants to turn up to this shithole of a place but we might as well show them what it's like to win a trophy or three at Wembley Stadium and look how we have to hide our boots in case some Belen pinches them. And now look at their tunnel this is Kenilworth Road. It looks more like Wentworth fucking prison on death row. And even the Sky Sports presenter has to watch where she's standing because of all the dog shit on the pitch. And here come the lads out of the hotel and every one of them has a worried look on their faces because they are leaving behind their million pound cars and when they return they will be on bricks just look how worried they all look. And how kind as a young Sunderland fan has made a homeless board to give to the Luton Town fans. And even Tony Mowbray feels sorry for them by writing sniff your nana's knickers on it. How very kind of our manager what a top bloke he really 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 is and I really mean that. And of course who else but Mr Sunderland himself who writes my sack holds more than your shithole of a stadium and that is really saying something because his sack only looks half full. And here we are we have arrived at a street that looks like somewhere in Baghdad and here is Mr. Pritchard having a drink of two-stroke petrol with the California Messi who looks disgusted. Just look at how happy our boys are looking as they arrive at Wentworth Prison I wonder how long they will get except Mr. Sunderland himself who simply doesn't give a shiny shite at all what a lad and here is the little magician who farted on the bus and followed through leaving Dan Neal looking like he is about to throw up all over the place.